Desert Eden by Patricia Grasso. Her indomitable spirit, ravishing emerald-eyed Heather Devereaux, set sail for France to marry Comte de Beaulieu, a man she'd never seen. But a band of Arab pirates hijacked the ship, bringing the beautiful young Englishwoman as prize to their notorious Ottoman prince. Defiant, innocent. Heather found herself the captain of Khalid Beg, a fiercely bold warrior who made her his slave, and thought he could bend her to his will, his embattled heart. He was called the Sultan's Beast, feared by all but this courageous beauty who challenged him as none ever had dared before. She would be his instrument of revenge on the hated Comte de but... Khalid Beg could not give up his English wildflower. He would give her luxury beyond her wildest dreams, tenderness, passion. Yet, even as Heather found heaven in his arms, Khalid knew she would never be his until he gave her the one thing she most ardently desired. Desert Eden. There's more inside. Ooh, release me, Heather said, finding her voice through her fear. Send me home to England. Heather stared into his cold blue eyes. Never before had she been so close, so alone, or so vulnerable to a man. The pampered life of a noble woman is behind you, Khaled said, his eyes warning her to remain silent or suffer some unnamed but hideous punishment. Heather's eyes narrowed, her anger rising like a sudden gust of wind, all sign of her previous fear gone. Surprised by the defiance in her gaze, Khaled cocked a dark brow at her. Your eyes scream rebellion, he said. Nevertheless, you are mine and will serve my every whim and need. Do you understand your position? Beast. The word slipped out before she could swallow it. Khaled leaned closer and said in a harsh voice, Yes, I am known throughout the Empire as the Sultan's Beast, and feared for it. Grown men quake at the mention of me, and mothers discipline their children by invoking my name. You mean, as in... The Sultan's beast will get you. In spite of herself, Heather smiled, thoroughly beguiling her captor. Khaled gave himself a mental shake. His intrepid captive was entirely too beautiful. If he wasn't careful. Dot, dot, dot.